What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the show. So, first off, I don't like to shop, but there are certain things that you have to shop for. You have to go grocery shopping, things like that. And uh, I guess you don't have to go grocery shopping now because you can shop online. But I haven't gotten to that point where I start where I'm shopping online for groceries. I think I, I like being in the store, going through the produce, making sure I'm picking the things that I want. But one of the things that we're seeing more and more of now are self checkout machines. And I really, really dislike self checkout machines. I used to use them from time to time, but after I started watching some videos and, and learning a little bit more about self checkout and how they operate, I decided to stop using self checkout machines, not because I'm going to steal something, but because I could get tied into the, you know, tied into this whole situation where someone might steal something. It might be around the same time that I stole something and now I'm getting questioned at the door, or, you know, stuff like that. I don't want to be a part of that. And so I'm not using self checkout anymore. And I look at the liability. The liability is on you when you go to that self checkout machine. You're untrained. Usually, when you go to self checkout, you might go to one at one store and go to another one, another store. They're different machines. So you're kind of learning the machine as you go, as you, as you uh, scan your items and things like that. So I do not like self checkout. I think they need to take them out. And I think there are some stores now that are realizing that they're not as effective as they thought they would be. Of course, stores are trying to save money, and that's the reason why they got self-checkout, because they want the consumer to come in and shop for groceries and then check themselves out. That's the whole, that's the bottom line. But stores are realizing now that there's theft. There's more theft now with self-checkout. And they're also realizing that people really don't like self-checkout, especially if you're going into a store and you have like 20 items, who wants to have to scan 20 items at a self-checkout or more? You don't want to do that. Now, younger people, yeah, they might gravitate more towards self-checkout. Uh, they grew up in the computer age, so this is all that they've known. But when you're talking about baby boomers and you're talking about Gen Xers, when I was growing up, we didn't have a lot of the technology that we have today. I mean, computers were just getting started. And so a lot of us aren't as tech savvy, although I would say that I'm pretty tech savvy. I can put on uh, live stream videos, do all this kind of stuff and computers, uh, you know, I'm working with technology a lot, but I would say I'm the exception. I'm not the norm when it comes to uh, people of my age. Now, of course, if you only have a couple of items, it might make sense to go to self-checkout, but I'm going to tell you, even if you have a couple of items, I still would not go to self-checkout because of that liability that I was talking about. You don't want to be accused of something. And so I'm going to show you guys a clip and we're going to talk a little bit about it. But first off, you guys can do me a favor. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that little bell notification, and then click all. By clicking all, you'll get notified anytime we post a video. We do daily videos here. So by clicking the bell notification, clicking all, you should be getting updated every day. And just a reminder, thank you for your support. I really appreciate it. And if you'd like to follow me on Twitter and threads, you can at the TEC show live. Okay, let's go ahead and get right to this uh, this clip and then we're gonna talk about it. Here we go. Self-checkout lanes have been around for years, but there is a big controversy over the machines ever since they were added to stores. And now some retailers are questioning if they're even mm -hmm. worth it. Here to talk about this is Dr. Ron Larson. He's been the visiting associate professor of economics at Luther College. Good morning. Good morning. All right, so what are the pros and cons of self-checkout? Well, the main reason consumers like them is they believe they will save time, but often having professionals scan your product, the products you buy is faster than scanning it yourself. For stores, they are trying to save money. Uh, they can have one person supervise six, maybe 10 self-checkout lanes rather than just work at one staff lane. So it's a cost reduction for stores. However, stores have discovered a number of problems too. One is some consumers don't like self-checkouts. My research suggests that people who are older and who are nervous about technology try to avoid self-checkouts. And there's people who are nervous about technology in every age group. Mm. But there's other problems too. One is something called shrink. It's believed there's more shrink at self-checkouts. And what shrink is, is when stores buy things and then they don't sell them. So it includes things like uh, customer theft. At self-checkouts, there's probably more accidental theft. People forget to scan something or they try to scan something and it doesn't scan or they type in the wrong code if they're buying produce at a grocery store. So there's 
more shrink uh, costs for stores. Mm. And every the single time I'm in that lane, I see the worker at the store going to everybody frantically trying to help because everyone mm -hmm. seems to have drama with their with what they're scanning. So what are the do's and don'ts when it comes to self-checkout so you don't become that person that's hacking everybody off behind you? Well, it's it, it, you know that's one of the problems with self checkouts is people can get embarrassed when they're when they have trouble with the technology, but they're trying real hard to improve the technology. It just takes time to learn how to use each store's technology. They're all different, and it's best uh, to maybe go at a time when the store isn't real busy and 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 practice because it is uh, it can be a real challenge. Um, you know, I usually way out the length of the line at the staff checkout versus the self checkout to decide which place I want to go. Okay, so based on your research, is it actually worth it for the retailers? What are they saying at this point? Well, some stores have taken them out because of the shrink problem and because they have some customers who don't like them. There's another problem that have pop has popped up that some consumers like the interaction at the checkout. A friendly cashier can make your day. And um, that in, that emotional connection with shoppers can actually uh, help improve store loyalty. We don't have that emotional connection with a self-checkout machine. So stores are discovering that they uh, have more shrink, that they have, they have some customers that don't like to use self-checkouts, and they may not be building store loyalty with self-checkouts. Mm -hmm. So the real issue for stores is how many self-checkouts to have right. and how many staff checkouts. I recommend stores have some of each because I think consumers should have a choice. All right, I, I agree, and I, I'm so sad when my favorite cashiers aren't working that day as <laughs> I miss them, so I agree with that too. Dr. Larson, thanks for your time today. My pleasure. Okay, so he said a lot of interesting things. There are a couple of things that I want to address. The first thing, that emotional connection, I agree with him. When you go to a store, a grocery store, you it is good to talk to someone. Now, I understand some people don't like to talk to anyone when they go to the grocery store. They just want to get in and get out. But sometimes you have questions. You might not you might have looked through the store and couldn't find a certain item and you ask the cashier on your way out and they say, oh, sure. And they have one of the, the people who's bagging your grocery go grab whatever, whatever it is that you're looking for. Or you get something and you realize that it's open or broken or all that stuff. What do they do? They give it to the, the bagger and the bagger will go grab you a new one. Well, what do you do when you go to self-checkout if you have an item that's open? I mean, I guess you have to Get out of line. I don't know what to, I don't know what you do. I guess you ask for assistance, and then maybe they can call someone to to go run and grab something for you. Or you have to hold that machine up because you're in the middle of your transaction. Hold that machine up while you go grab that item and, and switch it out. So that emotional connection is important. And just someone on the other end saying hello, how you doing? That that's good. I mean, for for a lot of people, that will inspire or promote. Uh, loyalty to the to the the grocery store. So I agree with him when he's saying that that emotional connection. I think we're we're losing that, and not just at grocery stores. We're losing that in a lot of different aspects, and it's unfortunate. But like we're doing everything online now, and and we can shop for groceries online, and we can get you know we have Amazon that will bring us things next day. So there are a lot of the, the connections that we used to have, we're, we're losing a lot of that. Even when you go to, I mean, technology's taken over so much. You go to an airport and you used to have to go through, you know, wait in line, which I know people don't like waiting in line. I don't like waiting in line. But then if you need to check your bag, you have to wait in line to check your bag and they give you a new boarding pass and all that stuff. Now they have the kiosk right there. As soon as you walk in that front door in most airports, most major airports, they have the kiosk there and you just get your own boarding pass. And then if you have a bag to check, you just walk it over and they'll have someone waiting there to take your bag and then you're on your way. Some people like that. I get it. But once again, when it comes to that emotional connection, if I'm going, if I'm traveling, one of the first things I want to know when they give me my boarding pass is where's the nearest gate? Where am I going? And they can direct you. Instead of you just getting your boarding pass and trying to figure out, okay, is it this way or is it that way? And, and you know, so it's, it's that emotional connection, I think, that's being missed. And you might have other questions when you're at the airport, uh, because in, in a lot of times you're at the airport, it's a pretty hectic time. You don't want to waste time. And so it's better to ask someone where you're going instead of 
trying to figure it out on your own. And so when it comes to emotional connection, I completely agree with him. Now, talking about shrinkage, and this is very important, and this is very interesting too. Stores know that people don't like using self-checkout. There's a lot of complaints when it comes to self-checkout. I haven't really heard that many people say, oh, it's a great experience, I love it, I'm gonna do it every time I go to the grocery store, I can't wait to go to self-checkout. Even the people who use it on a regular basis will say that the machine doesn't work sometimes, or I scan something and it won't scan, or it tells me that I need assistance and, 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 and I have to put in my produce and I forget the numbers sometimes or what have you. People will tell you they do not like self-checkout. But stores like self-checkout, or at least in the past they've liked self-checkout because it saves them money or, or it allows them to make more money because now they don't have to pay for a cashier. But now that we're seeing shrinkage, now that they're losing money, that's when they're starting to say, wait, hold on. We don't care if the customer doesn't like the product, but if we're looking at a situation where these self-checkout machines are losing us money, we're going to get rid of them. And so that's what we're seeing now. We're starting to see the fact that people are, you know, intentionally or unintentionally going into stores and, and, and stealing things. And I say unintentionally because you can easily go into self-checkout and not scan an item. And you're not doing it on purpose, but you forget to scan it or you scan it with the wrong code. It's very easy to do when it comes to produce. You can put the wrong number in or, or not know exactly what you, what you picked up because you got this lemon, but it might be a different type of a lemon. Is it organic? Is it not organic? All of that stuff. You can mess up easily when it comes to that situations like that. And you're not stealing. I mean, you're not intentionally stealing, but on accident, you put in the wrong code. So when it comes to self-checkout, like I said, I'm not using it. I'm not, I'm not taking that liability. It's just not worth it for me. Uh, but obviously, Having a choice is, is fine. I don't have a, an issue with having a choice, but just make sure you have cashiers there. But I think stores should have an equal amount of cashiers as they do self-checkout. So if you have six self-checkout machines, you should have six cashiers that are working. That's just my opinion because we've seen it before where you'll have one person working, working the, the cashier and then you have six self-checkout lanes open. And then now you're in a situation where if you want to wait in line for the cashier, you're probably going to have to wait 15, 20 minutes, whereas you can go to self-checkout and it's a lot easier. Stores are doing this purposely because they want you, or at least in the past, they've wanted you to use self-checkout because it saves them money. But in reality, it should be about the customer. And I will tell you right now, I go to a grocery store probably at least twice a week. Grocery store that I go to, they don't have self-checkout at all. They don't have any. So I like going to that store. Now, if I started going to a store where they had self-checkout machines and I started seeing them do this, where they have all these self-checkout machines and they only have one uh, cashier working, I would stop going to that store. And so if more people started to do that, I think that the stores will, will really get to see, hey, we need to get rid of self-checkout, not only because of shrinkage, but we need to get rid of them because cons customers are not coming to our stores anymore because we have too many of them. And some stores, all they have are self-checkout. They're doing these, these pilot programs where you walk in and it's all self-checkout. Or you'll have a situation where, and I've seen this before, there's a cart. You take the cart and it's like Amazon, I think what Amazon Fresh or whatever the Amazon uh, stores, the, the physical stores that they have where you walk in. Uh, the difference with those stores though is they have all your information as soon as you walk in the door. So all you're doing is walking in, grabbing things and putting them in the cart and then you just leave. And, and it, you know, it, it tallies all of your everything, your transaction, and then it will charge you. Uh, so that's one way. But I've seen other, other places where you have a cart, you go into the store, and the cart actually has the little, uh, the card reader and everything on there. You scan your items, you put it in the cart, and then as you're leaving, you swipe your card on the little card reader, and then you do your transaction right there. So I've seen that as well. But that's kind of interesting because... How do they work that out when it comes to, I mean, it, there, are, there are a lot of questions that I have, but like, uh, can you take the cart outside of the, of the uh, store? Probably not. You probably need to leave it in the store and then you're going to have to leave. So you're going to have to grab your bags. And if you have a lot of bags, that's going to be an issue because most people, you know, we push our cart all the way to our car, take our stuff out and put it in there. But in this situation, the cart is... Pretty, I would imagine it's pretty expensive because it has all the electronics uh, on it. So, and then who wants to have that cart sitting 
out there in the parking lot and then they have credit card skim skimmers and things like that, you have people that could tamper with those machines and now the next person that comes through, they put their card through and now that information is being shared uh, with other people. So I wanna know what you guys think about self-checkout, so let me know down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.